Joe Biden's Beast presidential limo is the talk of the town right now, and everyone wants to know how much it costs, as the Beast looks like a dream car to everyone who views it. So in today's video, we will talk about President Joe's Beast, and we will make sure to clear all of your doubts and questions. So let's begin. Now that we're about to have a US president about whom we can talk about without wincing from the possibility of controversy and know for certain who's going to be sleeping in the White House come January 20th, it seems like a good time to talk about his wheels. No, not his personal car. US presidents aren't allowed to drive on the public road for security reasons, which will doubtlessly upset Joe Biden, a classic Corvette owner, more than a little, but the official limousine that the president uses whenever Air Force One is too big to park. From Inauguration Day next week, Biden will be riding in The Beast, the official presidential limo, which looks like a stretch Cadillac but is actually custom made for the US government by General Motors. Although The Beast looks like a car, underneath it's based on a heavy duty lorry chassis, weighing almost 10 tons, and it's really closer in specification to a tank top up. The actual specifications are top secret, but the Beast is armored against gunfire and explosive, has puncture-proof tires and its own internal air supply, and carries packets of the president's blood type in a chilled compartment so that he or she can be given an emergency transfusion if needed. The doors with their 10 centimeter thick armored windows weigh as much as those on a Boeing airliner, while the armor plate is said to be as much as 15 centimeters thick. All that of course makes it very expensive. How expensive? Well according to research out by the UK website Vermarna, the current beast costs 1.5 million dollars per vehicle. That makes it a little cheaper than, say, a Bugatti Chiron, but still pricier than your average family hatchback. However, it's actually something of a bargain for the US taxpayer if you go back in history and adjust the cost of all presidential limos for inflation. Do that and it very quickly becomes clear that it was John F. Kennedy's now infamous 1962 Lincoln Continental that was the most expensive presidential car of them all, costing $1.74 million if you work out the inflation. So that was probably something of a drop in the ocean considering how much money Kennedy was pouring into the US space program at the time. That Lincoln was about a meter longer than the standard Continental model, and had a rear seat that could be raised hydraulically so people could get a better look at their president. While often used as a convertible, it also had a fixed roof that could be attached, as well as transparent quote unquote bubble top that would allow the president to smile and wave but keep dry on a rainy day. Sadly, neither was bulletproof. After the tragic day in Dallas in 1963 on which Kennedy was assassinated, Lincoln somewhat surprisingly wasn't thrown away. It was instead refitted and updated, giving armor plating in the doors and a new bulletproof roof, and stayed in service for both Johnson and Nixon administrations. The car itself is now on display at the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit, saving the US taxpayer the most money were Franklin D. Roosevelt and his successor Harry S. Truman. Both men used the same 1942 Lincoln Custom. In modern day money, that cost them just about $49,000 and served for 8 years, good value. Then, and doubtless some of that was due to the wartime austerity. Previously, Roosevelt had used a 1939 Lincoln K Sunshine Special, which was a convertible but which was also the first presidential car to feature armored plated doors and extra thick glass. There was also a special compartment in the boot for Thompson machine guns for the President's Secret Service detail and bulletproof tires as well. Bill Clinton's 1993 Cadillac was the first presidential limo to be purposefully built for the job from the ground up, and so it was the first to feature underbody protection from explosives, landmines, and rocket propelled grenades. It was also possibly the fastest first car ever, rumored to have a top speed of 228 kilometers per hour. The current cars mostly have a top speed of around 95 kilometers per hour thanks to their massive weight. George W. Bush's 2001 Cadillac DeVille limo was the first president's car to have satellite communication tech, as well as an onboard infrared night vision system for the driver. Barack Obama got a bus, the so-called Ground Force One, which was used for his re-election tour in 2012, and which features the same bulletproof and bomb-proof design as the Beast. Mind you, for all the impressive tech and high cost, the president's limo can be defeated by something much simpler than a bomb or an assassin's rifle. When Barack Obama visited Dublin in 2011, the beast got stuck on a particularly vicious speed bump trying to get out of the US Embassy in Dublin. Barack and Michelle were instead put into a taller riding and still heavily armored SUV and driven off of that instead. That is all for today, I hope that you liked the video and it was informative and exciting. So make sure to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button and click the bell icon to never miss out on any future videos from us. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.